Raj Singh is coming to AML Wrestling. That's May 24th in Winston-Salem. See four men face off for the AML Heavyweight title. Plus, Big Doc Gallows and the Bullet Babe, Amber O'Neill. Fans, don't miss AML Wrestling live right here at Johnny and June's in Winston-Salem. It's going to be on May 24th. You can go to AMLWrestling.com, get your tickets right now, and be on television with us. Makers of AML Wrestling definitely did their thing on this one. Damian Wayne versus Cahagas, the Tokyo Monster. He's being joined now with Nick D, who's representing them tonight. Nick D, you represent some of the biggest wrestlers in the Southeast. Tonight, Damian Wayne, what's going to happen in this match? When you see Christopher, I, I, first of all, looking nice today. That's good. But every day, every day. Anyway, Damian Wayne, you are known all over the Mid Atlantic as the Mid Atlantic. We know the rest of it. The experience, Damian Wayne. Well, you see something? <laughs> I got contacted by my, you know, my connections in the Orient. And they told me about the history of Damian Wayne and this man himself. The international crisis, Cahagas. And you see, you've had a history with him, and that's no mistaking about it. But tonight, you are going to experience, <laughs> no pun intended, something you have never experienced before. When you step in the ring with the international crisis himself, the Tokyo Monster Cahagas. Because you see, he has seeked out the client services of one of the greatest managers in the Southeast today, and that's yours truly. So Damian Wayne, be prepared for the experience of your life tonight. This interview's over. Thank you guys for, for joining us. Nick D, I hope you stay out of this one. And Nice to meet you, Mr. Cahagas. Uh, Damian Wayne joining us right now. Uh, Nick D has some big words and you're going against Cahagas tonight. What's going to happen? Uh, what's going to happen? Well, you see, when I got the phone call from AML Wrestling to book this match, you know what the first words that came out of my mouth was? What's that? I hope you got extra security because Jack, tonight, Johnny and June's Cahagas, it's personal, Jack, and you know why. And I don't care if I got to tear down every single part of this building to whip your, <laughs> excuse my language, it's but I won't say TV, it TV. because I'm going to leave it laying in the middle of the ring when I walk out with my hand raised tonight. Damian Wayne, big words for Cahagas we'll see tonight. Let's take this to ringside. Always warning, the next two men coming out of the dressing room are unpredictable and dangerous. So please be careful, especially if you're sitting along the front row. Now entering the AML Arena, a man who has fought the best from all over the world. And it's always a triple crown winner in the NWA. And the former NWA heavyweight champion of the world from Japan, weighing in at 99 kilos, the Tokyo Monster. Pinfalls count anywhere, no count outs, no disqualifications, anything goes inside the confines of Johnny and June's between Damian Wayne and that man, the Tokyo Monster Gehagas, making his way out here to the AML Arena. We discussed it last week during that up and comers match between Brady Pierce and Jackson James. Well, things are finally about to come to a head here in Johnny and June's at America's Most Like Wrestling. Making his way from Tokyo, Japan. This is Handler's on the microphone. Yes, sir! First of all, I need for all you Winston-Salem wannabes, you hits and hillbillies, to shut up right now while I talk. This man has some choice words for the fans in Johnny and June. What you're looking at right here is the pride of Japan. And what we are out to do is to prove to AML that we are the elite. Now, I understand that we're wrestling the experience that we made. And I'm not doing that. You can shut the noise up, okay? I'm getting 
say yes for the AML President Tracy Myers. It will be a no disqualification match. His opponent has more than 20 championship belts, including the prestigious heavyweight heavyweight titles from Hampton, Virginia. He is the Beatlet Badass, Damian Ray. Making his way out here in Johnny and June's, and he has his eyes fixated squarely on the Tokyo Monster Gehagas as Wayne always gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gehagas, folks. This one's a powder keg ready to blow. These two shoving each other at the opening bell, and we're getting ready to hook it up here in Winston-Salem. And here comes Gehagas shoving right back, and Wayne with the right hands. Bell sounds, this one's underway. It's main event time on the CW Triad 20. Wayne and Cahagas going back and forth, tooth and nail, right in the center of the ring. Remember, folks, pinfalls count anywhere. No countouts, no disqualifications. Literally anything goes as Cahagas will dump Wayne to the outside. And there's that handler of Cahagas jumping on him. It's a two-on-one beatdown right out of the gates as this one will be fast and furious, nonstop action right here as Cahagas takes Wayne back up to a vertical base. Now beating them all around the ringside area. This is completely legal once again in this matchup. All the fans at the AML Arena are going to be on the edge of their seats, knowing that at any moment the action could spill right into the crowd next to them. This is the first match of its kind we've seen here on the CW Triad 20 on America's Most Like Wrestling. And look at Gehagas, repeated blows there. That's about 20, 25 strikes right to the back of Damian Wayne, and he's not letting up. He's nearly at 50 strikes to the back of Damian Wayne, and he's pummeling him down. And Gehagas certainly came to fight here this afternoon. And we've seen tag team matches. We've seen triple threat matches. We've seen ladies action. We've seen legends matches. We've seen it all here in America's Most Like Wrestling. The first pinfalls count anywhere, no disqualification match we have seen at AML. And with the upcoming announcement that the first ever America's Most Like Wrestling Champion will be crowned in the coming weeks here on AML Wrestling Live, you certainly have to believe the winner of this will throw themselves in a serious consideration for that matchup. And Wade with a scoop slam right on the apron on the Tokyo Monster. Now he's going to town. And Wayne's got Gehagas in position. He puts himself up on that middle rope. Damian Wayne with the guillotine leg drop onto the apron. And the Tokyo Monster nearly gets decapitated right there by DW. And I'll tell you what, the Mid-Atlantic Badass has brought the fight here. First pinfall attempt of the matchup, one, two, and a near fall. But remember, this one could be spilling all the way back to the locker room. Chris Lee might need to watch out backstage. Before these two men come back there brawling all around Johnny and Junes. As Cahagas looks like he has regained control for the for the meantime. And there's a palm thrust right to the throat by the Tokyo Monster, the native of Tokyo, Japan. Making his AML debut. He's got Wayne. He's gonna send him to the outside once again. Damian Wayne, who we did see compete last year, taking out the Greek god Papadon at WrestleCade 2014. Let's see if he can do it in 2015. As Gehagas now raking his eye, hands right across the eyes of Damian Wayne on the outside of the ring. Certainly legal here. And folks, don't think for one second, this is the first time that Gehagas and Wayne have hooked it up. These two have battled in many bloodbaths all throughout the Mid-Atlantic region, all throughout the country, having some stiff battles in the state of Texas. These two have done it all when it comes to competing in that squared circle. And the, the matchmakers here at AML, they felt, hey, let's see these two ply their trade for America's Most Like Wrestling and see if they can take this feud up another notch. As Gehagas continues to beat down on Wayne, throws that forearm right into the kidney. And again, folks, the referee not counting on the outside of this ring, all legal in this contest. No disqualification, no count outs in this one. Eska Hagas now beating down on Wayne. They're making their way over towards the bar, really utilizing that stipulation to his advantage. Eska Hagas back and forth here. Wayne's got him, and he's going to send him head first. Looks like right into a barrel. Certainly some of the plunder that you see all throughout Johnny and June's. And that knife edge chop ringing throughout the AML arena here. And here comes Gehagas right back to him. 
back and forth match thus far. No man has really been able to stand out with an advantage. And Gahagas, oh no. He's got a chair, and he's gonna send Wayne throw first right onto the top of that chair. Try to cut off the oxygen and do some damage to that esophagus, perhaps. As Cahagas is relentless, he's got that trash can up, and Wayne's gonna put on the brakes. Wayne sensing desperation here, didn't want to get hit in the head with that trash can, and he's gonna nail Cahagas right back with it. So Wayne utilizing it to his advantage here. And the Mid-Atlantic Badass is starting to fire back here on the Tokyo Monster. As Wayne and Cahagas brawling all around Johnny and Jews. We're only about five or six minutes into this one, and it feels like it's been a marathon. These two jockeying for position on the outside of the ring. What a main event this week on AML Wrestling Live. An incredible way to close out this month of April on the CW Triad 20 as Damian Wayne puts Cahagas in position and that knife edge chop, nobody home. And Damian Wayne just chops that ring post, no padding or protection there. Damian Wayne might've just broken his right hand. And Cahagas picking his spots here, taking advantage with that opening. And the Tokyo Monster going to town on Mr. Mid-Atlantic. And Cahagas now picks him up, an inverted atomic drop. And Wayne might be seeing stars, oh no, Cahagas measuring him up. Wayne's gonna turn around, right into that roundhouse kick. And the Tokyo Monster Cahagas is in control. He goes to the lateral press, one, two. And Wayne kicks out our first near fall of the match on the outside of the ring. Back and forth match this week in our main event on AML Wrestling Live. We'll be back in just a few minutes with the conclusion of this Pin Falls Count Anywhere match between the Tokyo Monster Cahagas and Damian Wayne. Raj Singh is coming to AML Wrestling. That's May 24th in Winston-Salem. See four men face off for the AML Heavyweight title. Plus, Big Doc Gallows and the Bullet Babe, Amber O'Neill. Fans, don't miss AML Wrestling live right here at Johnny and June's in Winston-Salem. It's going to be on May 24th. You can go to AMLWrestling.com, get your tickets right now, and be on television with us. Sometimes my baby girl's in the bed when I get home. And that's the part of this that a lot of folks don't realize. The dealership is not just a family business. It's not just a legacy project. It's not just a way to make money. Of course, it is all those things. But more importantly for me, it's, it's a passion. It's got my flair. We're not for everybody. Music's a little loud. The gong ceremony is a little over the top. The colors are a little bright. We tend to wear silly hats, high-fiving and dancing around. We have a good time. Some people don't like to buy cars in that atmosphere, and that's okay. We're not for everybody, but you know, there's a lot of love in it. And I think you can feel that when you walk in the door. The Emmy-nominated and Telly Award-winning Car Men. Out now. Order the DVD today at thecarmenmovie.com. Honesty. A value that seems lost in today's auto industry. At Beamer Tire and Auto Repair, we have built our reputation on providing honest and friendly service. With two ASE certified master technicians and industry leading technology, the tire experts at Beamer are well equipped to service or repair any maker model on the road today. So, for all of your future automotive needs, be sure to stop by Beamer Tire and Auto Repair. We care because you can go anywhere. A lot of fans have been asking about the lineup for WrestleCade 2015. Well, folks, more than 100 stars are going to be there. Here's just a sample of who's been announced so far. Matt Hardy, Bobby the Brain Heenan, Mr. Anderson, Abdullah the Butcher, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Henry Godwin, Bob Holly, Kevin Sullivan, Shane Douglas, and Harley Race. Go to WrestleCade.com and see who else is coming to Winston-Salem and get your tickets before they sell out. Remember, that's November 28th, WrestleCade 2015. 
Next week, it's former TNA champion Magnus taking on Mr. Mid-Atlantic, Damian Wade. It's the biggest main event in AML history. Tune in to the CW Triad 20, 1230, next Saturday afternoon. Folks, we are back from commercial break. These two have been going at it on the outside of the ring. Wait a minute. Wayne's going to try to move out some of the crowd here. Try to put Cahagas in position. Going to send him in right into a series of chairs as Cahagas has taken out a couple of rows as the crowd here in Johnny and June's have scattered. They're on their feet getting behind this street fight main event time at America's Most Like Wrestling. Wayne. Trying to set up some more chairs here. He has the advantage on the Tokyo Monster right now. Wayne. What's he going to do with Cahagas here? Both of these men knew what they were signing up for when they signed their name on the dotted line here for this main event street fight. Wayne's got him in position, and there's a front slam right in between two chairs. But I don't think that's going to be enough. I think Damian Wayne has bigger designs. He's on that ring apron. Here comes Mr. Mid-Atlantic with a running leg drop, taking Gehagas out right on those two chairs. Both men are down. What an incredible back and forth affair right here in Johnny and June's. These two certainly understand that the AML management is set to crown their first ever heavyweight champion. Oska Hagas is gonna block that chair shot and he throws it right into the cranium of Wayne. Unbelievable series of events here. But these two understand that a heavyweight champion is about to be crowned and both of these men wanna be the first ever America's most like wrestling heavyweight champion. Gehagas has that chair, just driving it down in the throat of Damian Wayne, trying to choke the life out of Mr. Mid-Atlantic. Gehagas not letting up as his handler at ringside, shouting instructions, telling the Tokyo Monster exactly how to pick apart Mr. Mid-Atlantic here. As Damian Wayne gonna need to fight back into this one. As Gehagas picks him back up to a vertical base. And he's gonna send him, it looks like, face first one more time. Oh, I thought he's gonna go to the ring post, but instead he's gonna send Wayne into the second row. That Irish whip just sends Wayne. And I'll tell you what, Damian Wayne might, might not have much left in the tank right now as the Tokyo Monster is beating him from pillar to post here at Johnny and June's. We talked about Wayne picking up a huge win at last year's WrestleCade over the Greek god Papadon. Well, Tokyo Monster, Gehagas here, he's looking to make a statement. He wants to be going to WrestleCade November 28th at the Benton Convention Center in Winston-Salem. He wants to make a name for himself as Wayne with a chair shot. He's gonna lay out Gehagas here, back and forth action, trying to call it the best we can as this one has really spilled all over the arena. Back in the ring now for the first time in many minutes. Wayne and Gehagas, nearly 10 minutes into this main event contest, have nearly sucked the life out of each other here. Wayne, wedging that chair in between the top and middle rope. What is he going to do with it here? Could he possibly send Cahagas in that steel chair? Wayne trying to mount some offense. Throwing right hands into the forehead of the Tokyo Monster. Now stomping a huddle and I'm trying to walk it dry. Damian Wayne looks like he's a little bit banged up. But Mr. Man Atlantic will not quit. Wayne trying to pull back Cahagas to a vertical base. These two have beaten the living hell out of each other on this Saturday afternoon on the CW Triad 20. Wayne, Irish whip, reversal by Gahagas, and Wayne goes face first right into that steel chair. Damian Wayne might be busted wide open. The referee's gonna check in on him here. Both men are down. Main event hanging in the balance here. As this street fight has really ramped up a notch. There's a flying knee drop, one, two, three, oh! And Gehagas nearly did it, but Damian Wayne will not quit. Again, folks, we've seen tag team action, the Heat Seekers, the Bravados, the Washington Bullets, and there's a flying knee there once again by Gehagas. Gonna send Wayne spilling to the outside. 
We've seen Matt Hardy defend that WrestleCade title against Zayn Dawson and Sean Waltman. Vordell Walker and Sigmund. We've seen all kinds of great matches here on AML Wrestling Live. I don't think we've seen a hellacious brawl like this one thus far in 2015. As Gahagas, who has sent, just sent Wayne to the outside, is back in control here. He's got him on the outside of the ring. Remember, this match can be won on the outside. No disqualifications, no count outs, pinfalls count anywhere. As Gahagas and Wayne, again moving all around Johnny and Junes, they're by the bar area once again. And these two just going back and forth as Wayne sends him face first right into that bar. That might have knocked out Cahagas briefly. And now here we go, right into that high top. And Wayne and Cahagas. Thankfully there's no patrons over there. And wait, where are they going now? Oh no! Could we be possibly riding the bull? Wayne and Cahagas, and there's a scoop slam by Wayne. Right into that mechanical bull area. We've really seen everything now on AML Wrestling Live. And Wayne. He's gonna try to get up on top of the bull. If the Tokyo Monster wasn't a tough enough task, can he ride the bull? Wayne, he's trying to perch himself up on top of the bull, but Gahagas trips him up, and Wayne gets crotched on top of that mechanical bull, and that is one ride Wayne wishes he didn't take. And Gahagas now, pummeling him back now. You see that view from afar, across the AML arena. Johnny and Junes, a packed house once again this Saturday afternoon for AML Wrestling Live. Now both men on the bull. You gotta think the odds are in the bull's favor here as Damian Wayne and Cahagas go back and forth. The bull looks like he got a little rowdy as both men get thrown off. They're both down as this main event continues to take more twists and turns. Wayne and Cahagas both trying to get back to their feet. They don't need to get back to the ring. They just need to get back to their feet and be able to get back on the offensive. Who can capitalize here? Wayne and Gahagas certainly want to rejoin us here on May 24th when we come back for more AML Wrestling action Sunday afternoon. Check it out, amlwrestling.com as they certainly want to be able to be back in the house. But keep your eyes on Gahagas and he's going to fly off the top of that mechanical bull stand with a flying chop. And Gahagas has Wayne dazed even more now. And he's gonna send him face first right into that table once again. Wayne all kinds of dazed right now. As Gahagas firing away with those forearms. Trying to make their way back towards the ringside area. It's not imperative, but it certainly looks like it's gonna set up better for the Tokyo Monster. As he takes that chair right in the midsection of Wayne. But Wayne now has blocked it. Damien Wayne digging deep. A last ditch effort here for Mr. Mid-Atlanta. He's got Cahagas now. Gonna send him into the ring. What can Wayne do to possibly dispatch Cahagas? Cahagas is down. And folks, Wayne is signaling for it. This is a move he has adopted in the last four or five years. That flying elbow drop. And Cahagas' handler just sends him right off the top, tumbling to the mat. And remember, no disqualifications or no countouts. And we got a beat down here, a two on one right on Damian Wayne in the center of the ring. Come on, referee. Restore some order in there. As Wayne's got nowhere to go, Gahagas and his handler double teaming Wayne. They're going to send him for a ride. And Wayne kicks Gahagas in the face. He's got the handler, and he takes his boot right in the midsection of Gahagas. DDT, he rolls over. Whoa! Wayne moves out of the way to add insult to injury. A splash on Gahagas by the handler. The handler doesn't know what to do. Wayne's got him here. He's gonna send him packing. Now Wayne's gonna get back on the offensive. Gahagas is still down. Wayne goes back up. Can the second time be a charm? And Wayne nails the diving elbow drop. That can do it. Hooks the inside like one, two, three. And Damian Wayne has pulled out a huge win in this pinball's kind of new match. Overcoming the odds of the two on one, of the no disqualifications, no count outs, 
pinfalls count anywhere. The most hellacious brawl in the short history of America's most like wrestling has Damian Wayne on top with a victory. The Tokyo Monster Cahagas gave it his all. He pushed Damian Wayne to the absolute limit. But with a diving elbow drop after staving off his handler, Damian Wayne picks up the win and now has to be in consideration for that AML Wrestling Damian Heavyweight Wayne. title. And Wayne now standing by ringside with yes. Chris Lee. The man of the bulls. And even a manager. And you're bleeding a little bit. How did you do it? Revenge. Revenge. One simple word. I might not have won the war, but I won the night's battle. I'm sure I'll see you again, Vegas. But tonight is my night. Tonight is his night. One more time for Damian Wade. Watch your mouth. Now time for the Wham Bam Thank You Slam, presented by Frank Myers Automax. Check this out. Let's see that elbow drop one more time. All the way off the top rope. This has been the Wham Bam Thank You Slam. I want to bring in Magnus right now. You're here with us at AML for your debut. How does it feel being here? It's great. I've uh, had very good dealings with the AML promoters in the front office. And when they saw me, we discussed things. They made the price right. And now Magnus is here in AML. Awesome. It's Damian Wayne. Heard a few things about this young man. He's been around the block a few times, but he hasn't been where I've been. And the fact of the matter is, is that I'm not here to be anybody's friend. I'm not here to shake anybody's hand. I'm here to prove to you, to the world, to these fans, to anybody who cares that there's a reason why I am where I am. There's a reason why I'm the first British World Heavyweight Champion in history. And there's a reason why Damian Wayne will be looking up at the lights and going back to normality after the greatest night of his life being in this with me. Don't forget, folks, Magnus and Damian Wayne square off next week right here on AML Wrestling Live.